welcome back. We have the mother load. Mr. Tackle Box and Catchco Bass Fishing Crate. We've been doing some uh, ice boxes, ice fishing boxes, some walleye boxes. Now we're gonna do some, uh, we're gonna do a, a little bit of a bass crate here. Uh, I've seen these uh, unboxings done before and I haven't done one myself. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to kind of go through it and do one myself and show you guys what I find. This is box number 272. It's a lot of box versions. Pretty sweet. This is supposed to get about 11 to 15 items, about $80 value in the box. Get some tips and tricks instructions. Yeah, I'm excited. Let's just get right into it. And also, don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so that way you know when I new video uploads and don't miss a beat. So we'll just open up this box here. And we got another box inside. Just gonna go upside down. Box within a box. Okay. Don't know which side is up now, it doesn't matter. There we go. You see, it was all it was still taped up. I never I haven't even opened this box yet. Put all them goodies in there, huh? All right. Well, let's just, just dive right into it here. Boom. Biospawn Exopod. Black and blue. This is a 3.5 inch. Got a seven, a pack of seven here. You know? This thing is really versatile. Well, it even says here, rigging options. Texas rig, trailer, bladed jig, swim jig, punch rig, ball head jig. That's 100% right. My first thought, punch it. It's got, it's really, really slender, but still got a, it's got good meat on the body. So you're not gonna ruin a bunch of baits. Your hook's not gonna get ripped up, or your bait's not gonna get ripped up with one hook set. Awesome, awesome little bait there. All right, big bite baits. Craw here. It, it looks like a beaver. What is this? Ah. What's inside card? Let's see what these are called. Oh, God, I knew it was something to do with the frog. I can say these. Okay, the big bites. Fighting frog. Okay, so the green pumpkin color. Solid. You can even use these for flipping, pitching, you know, whatever. I mean, that's what I thought it was at first, was just a cross style bait. Big bite baits, I do like these. These are pretty good. Hey, talking about jigs. You get an Excite Reflex jig in there, too. This is a skipping jig, 3 8 ounce. Color is Magic Crop. They pair up good with that uh, Big Bite Baits uh, Fighting Frog. We need to pinch a little bit of the fighting frog off, but that'll work. Or you could uh, mash it up with the Excite Baits uh, High Floater. Well, that must mean that this thing floats then. We've got Green Pumpkin Craw by Excite Baits here. It looks like a craw style uh, plastic that would that would pair up. Perfect, right here. I like it when they combine stuff that you can match up. All right, next we got the uh, Vertical Lures Green Pumpkin Red Flake Tube X. This is like a finesse tube. This would be great for smallmouth. 
can rig this on like say a, a drop shot, do a small jig, a Ned rig, small Texas rig if you want, but I'd probably use it for a drop shot or a Ned rig, or you just get like a small ball head jig and uh, go up into the tube there. Probably have to you know, cut a slit for the hook to come in through, but that would work great. All right, next up was we got the, the Guggen Squad Hummer Buzzbait, black blue flake. This one happens to be the 3 8 ounce weight. What I like about their baits is they've got the weight on the bottom of their baits right there. You can't ever go wrong with black and blue buzzbait. And these things, I have used these. I have some. They they run pretty good too. They run pretty true right out of right out of the package. Haven't had an issue. Not too much to say about that. Good solid bait. All right. Here we go. Uh, Carl's Amazing Baits Golden Boy. Their square bill. Crank bait here. What color we got here? Chartreuse gill. I like that color. I really do, actually. Uh, dives uh, about three to five feet, something like that. It says it here. Yeah, three to five feet. Great little bait. I have one, not this color. I've got like a, a brown craw color. Nice. That's going to go in the box. We're going to use that one. And here we have a castaic. Mana Crank, love the bright colors, this is going to be great in dingy water. Yeah, you can use this in clear water too if you want, but if you do, burn it so they don't get a chance to get a good look at it. But this is going to be good in some deep water where it's a little bit darker. Cloudy, rainy too, throw this out there too. Dives, two to four feet. Wow, that bill looks like it should dive a little bit more than that, but no, it's only two inches long. Dives two to four feet. Efficient, a lot of, lot more of dirty water, maybe some rivers. That's a nice solid little crank. Oh, we got another uh, square bill. This one is by Bexon, the Deep Thud series. It's the Fat Boy. It's a Chartreuse King. Is the color and. I think this is like a weight bait. Nope, wrong. Square bill. <laughs> Looking at it different. Square bill, depth, four feet. It even says it up here. Dives to four feet. That's a nice little fat square bill. I like those colors though. I really do. I like the brown. My favorite color is uh, chartreuse black. So it's like a yellow chartreuse body and then a black back. That's my all-time favorite. I use that in clear water, muddy water, rain, shine, or rain, shine, whatever. Works great. This would probably work pretty good too. Haven't used these before, but maybe I will. Get a little rattle in there as well. Next up, Lake Fork Trophy Lures Live Magic Shad. This is a the 3.5 inch watermelon red pearl and uh, this guy's been seen on episodes of the big bass battle they tell you on the back of the package there garlic and salt impregnated plastics gives you a couple of rigging tips too on the back here I haven't used these that often but when I have I've caught fish on them they work pretty good no complaints for me. All right, next up, we got another Guggen, uh, Guggen Baits, Guggen Squad. This is a clutch. This is the uh, the larger one, the two and a half inch, half ounce. The color on this one is the Sriracha Craw. I had to look because I can't remember. Yeah, it's a, it's a lipless bait. Lipless crank bait, it's gonna run you know, whatever depth you want, sinks, just toss it out there. This is a good, uh, 
this is a good bait, you know, all year round. You use it in certain situations, you know, uh, darker water. You can also, this would be great in the spring too. I also use it in the fall. Good solid bait. Solid, solid bait. Can't talk. All right. I have some of these on the wall. This color too. I'm glad to have, uh, you can actually have some more of these. Next up is we got by Mayhem Bait Company, Liquid Mayhem. This is their uh, Mayhem Thrust Swim Minnow in the Sunfish color. Really like this color. It's got it's like a kind of like a yellowish green bottom with a bunch of different flake color in it and kind of like a smoke black and blue top. It's really neat. Maybe get a better view here. It also comes with uh, some uh, liquid mayhem uh, you know, scent tube of it. They call it the liquid. It's a bonus to the package. I haven't used the scent, but I've used these. Yeah, they catch fish. All right, last one in the box of the mother load. I like these. The E Eliminator by Game Changer. This is a blue crop, three and a half inch. They come in packs of eight. These are actually really durable. Uh, a pack of eight will take you a long way. And applications, whatever you want. <laughs> Spinner bait, bladed jig, uh, you know, regular, you know, uh, put them on the back of a Weepless jig, Texas rig by itself, weighted, punch it, you name it. These things are really versatile. Even go weightless and skim it across the top. Because these tails, it's a good sized tail. That provides some action, that provides some wake at the top. And they have a bit of a, so the top of the bait is flat, but the bottom is somewhat rounded. So that it can skip right on top of the water. Awesome little bait. Got 13 baits in there. Nice old box. Eighty dollar, eighty dollar value. I think we got on, we got on sale for like 50 bucks. You know, not bad. Pretty good. And you also get, you know, just like some of all the other mystery tackle boxes. Get the dipple fishing tips and tricks. A little disappointed in the decal. Got a decal, MTB is still pretty neat. But I like the bigger decals. I like to see the bigger decals. And then of course you get your what's inside a bass mother load box list. Well that was fun. I enjoyed that. Hopefully you guys did too. Well we're probably gonna slow down on some of these unboxings. We'll still do the, the bass uh, elite bot unboxing because I I'm, I got subscription to that. So we'll we'll keep doing that every month. But we're going to slow down on these unboxings now and try to get into something else. Well, I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. If you like this kind of stuff, please subscribe. Help this channel. I really appreciate you guys that have subscribed. And I appreciate all your support. And thank you for watching. Catch you later.